hi love welcome back in today's class we're making this beautiful chevron split skirt if you're new to the channel my name is miss Ayi, and you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you my love thank you darling thank you sweetheart for always coming back to us let's get right into class I'm going to be using this four colors lightweight yarn. I'm going to be doubling it. Your stitch marker, scissors, and a 3.5 mm. To begin with, you are going to make a slip knot and we are going to be making a multiples of 27. For a size small to medium, I chain 135. Um, you can choose to chain more or less depending on your desired length, but let it be in a multiples of 27. After your multiples of seven, you're going to add two more chains. So this is my 137 chains, row one, yarn over, skip two, and make a double crochet in the third stitch. Make another double crochet in the next stitch. Now you are going to skip one stitch and make a double crochet in the next stitch. And that is one. And you are going to go ahead and make 11 more double crochets in the following 11 stitches. So including the first double crochet, it will be 12 double crochet in total. So this is two, three, four so go ahead and make 12 double crochets in total so after the 12 double crochets in the next stitch you are going to make three double crochets in the same stitch so on the 13th stitch you are going to make three double crochet three you are going to continue making double crochet each in the following 12 stitches so one two and I'll meet you when you have your 12 double crochets. This is basically the pattern for row one. So row one is making 12 double crochets. And in the 13th stitch, you are going to make three double crochets in the same stitch. Make 12 double crochets again and skip two and make 12 double crochets. So you are going to skip two make 12 double crochets and in the 13th stitch you put three double crochets make 12 double crochet skip two make 12 double crochets you are just going to be alternating between 12 double crochets and three double crochet in the same stitch 12 double crochet skip two so now this is 12 so in the 13th stitch we are going to make three double crochets again in the same stitch so afterwards you are going to go 12 double crochets and you skip two chains and make 12 double crochet add three chains in the 13th stitch so this is how your work would be looking like so is in a in a form of a zigzag and you are going to do that until the end of the row so at the end of the row just as we did for the beginning of our work we are going to skip the first stitch so you are going to yarn over skip that stitch and make double crochet in the following two stitches so one and two now for row two you are going to chain two one two turn your work you are going to yarn over make a double crochet in the first stitch you are going to yarn one over one stitch and skip yarn one over one stitch and skip make one stitch 12 and double go crochet inside in the following the 12 stitches following stitch so with a double crochet 
now keep making one, your double crochet until two, you have 12 double crochets three, so this is three so your 12 four, stitch would be the five, stitch before the middle six, three double crochets the three seven, double crochets you put in the middle will be eight, your middle stitch nine, and in that same middle ten, stitch we are going to put three 11, double crochets in and the same 12. stitch when we get there so in the so next this stitch, is 12 that would be the be middle like of this. your so in your the middle work, stitch you are going to chain one three double crochet stitch now and we are going to go in ahead that and stitch put three more double crochets so this is three now you are going to go ahead and work your 12 double crochets until you are left with a stitch to uh skip chain two I'm at the skip chain point and this is my 12 and now you are going to skip two chains so yarn over skip one and two and in your third stitch you are going to make a double crochet and this double crochet counts as your first 12 double crochets so you are going to go ahead and make 11 more so this is two three so make 11 more double crochets so in total you have 12 double crochets we are at the apex again and we are going to put three double crochets in that 13th stitch and always make sure your 13th stitch should be the middle stitch of your three double crochets so put three double crochets again in that middle stitch and you are going to go ahead and make your 12 double crochets skip two and 12 double crochets put three double crochets in the middle 12 double crochets skip two 12 double crochets put three double crochets in the middle and you are going to be doing this until the end of the row so this is just a repeat pattern row one row two row three row four is literally the same until you get your desired length so I'm at the skip point you are going to skip two and make your 12 double crochets and keep doing this until the end of the row so getting to the end of the row now you are going to skip one after your 12 double crochets you're going to skip one and make your two double crochets in the next two stitches and that is row two now for row three you're going to chain two again turn your work make your first double crochet in the beginning stitch yarn over make your double crochet in the beginning stitch you are going to skip the next stitch and make 12 double crochets in the following 12 stitches until you are at the you are at the apex of your three double crochets and in the middle you are going to put three double crochets At this point if you haven't subscribed to the channel my love my darling my sweetheart please do the little you do goes in a long way to motivate us okay so keep making your double crochets until you are the middle and now i'm at the middle row and you are going to place three double crochets in that same stitch and you are going to keep working your 12 double crochets skip two 12 double crochets put three double crochets in the middle 12 double crochets skip two 12 double crochet put three double crochets in the middle until the end the last 12 before the end of the row and we shall skip one and put our two double crochets in the remaining two stitches so go ahead and do this and i'll meet you at the end
at the end of the row this is what your work should be looking like so after my three rows i'm going to change my yarn so i'm attaching my hot pink and you are going to chain two it's just the same thing um just change your yarn so i'm attaching my next color and you are going to make your first double crochet in the beginning stitch you are going to yarn over skip the stitch and make 12 double crochets and keep doing this until your desired length so if you want to keep um, changing yarn you are free to do so you don't necessarily have to do the same exact thing that i am doing but if you wish to then that's okay so i would work and i'll meet you when i have my desired length this is what my work is looking now and this is what you in total i made um 33 rows and if you want your skirt to be longer than this please feel free to um do as many rows as you want and if you want your skirt to be shorter than this also feel free to do it at this point um just go by your size and yeah work it and when you're done with your work make sure you fasten or they cut the loose ends fasten them and sew it in or you can decide to cut them because you are going to be working on the edges so cut it and make sure your work is neat and we shall work on the edges now to work on the edges you are going to attach your yarn at one corner of your work and you are going to chain one and you are going to go into each row with two single crochets so in inside each row go inside with two single crochets and also when you are attaching your yarn make sure you are attaching it at the bottom part because we are going to work um, um single crochets again at the um the waist part of the skirt so choose where you want it to be the bottom and where you want it to be the waist and attach your yarn at the bottom part because we are going to go all around so i'm at the waist point now so at this point you are going to chain one and we are going to start making single crochets so make four single crochets in the following four stitches four half double crochets in the following stitches and you are going to make four double crochets so in total you should have 12 um stitches so four single crochets four half double crochets and four double crochets we are doing this to level the skirt so if you have a better way of doing that please do you can choose to make triple crochets or you can choose to make double crochets but you make it very loose so that your work could be level so keep doing this until the end of the row and when we get to the end of the row we are going to again make single crochets two single crochets in each row until the other end of your row so we are making borders all around um our skates right so Work your stitches and I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row that very corner you put a single crochet chain one and a single crochet all in the same space you are going to keep making your sing two single crochet in each row until the end of the row so this is the your first row of border you can choose to make three but i'm only going to make two rows of the border so at the end of the row you are going to chain one turn your work and again you are going to work single crochet in each stitch 
until you get to the first corner of your skirt and we shall continue so keep making your double crochets so at the bottom of the work you are going to work at this point you can see your work is leveling so you can choose to put um double crochets in each stitch but make sure when you get to where it's falling make it high and lose double crochet and work double crochets until the end of the row at the end of the row chain one or two cut and fasten your yarn and this is what your skirt should be looking like now we are going to be attaching our yarn as the waist part the one corner of the waist part and chain two and we are going to go on with half double crochet in each stitch at the waist part until the end of the row this time you are not making the size of the skirt you are we are only making one half double crochet in each stitch at the border or the waist part of our skirt so do this and I'll meet you when I have my half double crochets in each stitch completed. So now you don't cut off your yarn. You are going to choose between your right side and your wrong side because we are going to be attaching our work. So attach it. Let your right side be facing you or be facing up. You are going to go ahead and measure 10 inches. But then again, the split varies. If you want it more um, shorter or more close, then you measure the inches that um, you desire. So now we are going to close off from the waist until we get to a 10 inches stitch marker. So go into each stitch with a single crochet. So make single crochets down until the end of the row. Where the stitch marker is. So when you get to the stitch marker point, take off your stitch marker and chain one or two cut and fasten your yarn and this is what your skirt should be looking like now make a long chain and locate the middle of your skirt and your adjustment chain put it in and out for adjustment and you are done if you enjoyed the video my love my darling please subscribe to the channel don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to come to class and if you've been watching our videos and you've not subscribed my darling you are not doing as good until we meet next week my love my babies let us know your feedback on the skirt and give us video suggestion of what you want to see next on the channel see you next week in class bye bye